I have a fun question just popped into my head when I walked in here. If you could be molded out of clay, right, in real life, mm -hmm. and have any person blow life into you, who would you want to be the person to blow life into you? Like Zeus blew life into Wonder Woman, right? Ooh, uh, I would keep it simple with my parents okay. still. Yeah. Da Vinci. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. I would just say Bobby Brown. <laughs> <laughs> you will train her harder than any Amazon before her. Five times harder. Ten times harder. Never let your guard down. You expect the battle to be fair. Until she is better than even you. But she must never know the truth about what she is. It's like that big giant fight scene on the beach and, and you know, the fight scene with the lasso was one of my favorites. How does it feel pulling off that, that choreography? A lot of fun. I, I, I love it. I was a dancer for 12 years and I always enjoy express my, expressing myself with my body and I think that the fight choreography has a lot to do. It's very similar to dancing. Mm -hmm. It's all one big beautiful choreography. And I loved it. I really enjoyed it. Each fight scene that she has, there's an emotional story that we're telling. So it was, it was great because, because she would fight differently and she would do things differently than we've seen before. And so I had to really challenge all of us to say, I don't think she's angry here. I think she's getting the job done. No man's land. She's not angry. She's not spiteful. She wouldn't do anything hateful. She's just getting the job done. And so the whole behavior and where the camera would be and how you tell that story is dictated by that. That was awesome because then you're really directing performance the same way you always do. You know, it's not this, it's this. You have to do what you have to do. It just changes everything. So it's pretty awesome. Stay here. I'll go ahead. playing a damsel in distress, Chris. <laughs> Ouch, no, it's no damsel in you distress. You saved his life. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it was, uh, uh, it's funny, it brings up a lot of things as a, as a man, you know, the Steve Trevor has to, and I think this is where a lot of the comedy comes in, is that he has to deal with the fact he's a pretty strong guy and he thinks he's pretty badass, and then he meets someone who happens to be a woman and it's 1917, which is, uh, you know, the patriarchy was even that much stronger and stereotypes that much stronger. So he has to deal with his own ego and battling the fact that he's maybe not <laughs> the most badass person in the world. Um, and I think that brings to, brings to the force something really important in this film is that, you know, with heroism you have to, uh, and I think this is what Patty wanted to do, is you have to shuffle off all those ego constraints that oftentimes constrain all of us and vanity and um, uh, how we view ourselves in the world for something greater, something bigger, and that's the selflessness that uh, that uh, Patty wants to, wants to explore in this film. Women and black people have had it rough in the world, yeah, to say the least. Yeah, um, and making this movie with this superior woman character yeah. in a world that doesn't even think you guys should be in the same room with us when we're handling business. Yeah. How fun was that? And how, how, how hard was that as well? Because it had to be a little bit of a challenge as well as a blessing. Yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? The nicest thing about this, this what this movie allowed me to do was to tune out all of that because I feel absolutely entitled that she should be the center of the movie and not only that, that she should be the universal character. And this is the thing that I think is the biggest change. It's like always only certain kind of people got to be the universal character saving the world and everybody else had to be about being a woman or about being black or about being, like they could only be about this one thing. Who cares who's at the center of the movie? Let's pick all kinds of people because all kinds of people can be the universal character. And so that was how we approached it, was like, 
I just made a movie about a hero, and then it made sense for all different kinds of people to play the role they were playing. And, 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 and of course, then at the end of the day, I see it, and I see that it's a woman playing that role, and that I'm the one that directed it, and I'm so excited if it makes a difference. Or maybe not. Is there anything else you want to show me? I'm looking uh, at that picture from the dance scene. I'm jealous a, a lot of it. You should be jealous. I, I absolutely agree with you. And it was uh, uh, probably the most uh, uh, nerve-wracking uh, scene I had in the film because I was dancing with uh, uh, Gal Gadot, I was dancing with Wonder Woman, and I wanted to impress her. Um, and also remember my dialogue and, and, and look like I was a, a powerful presence. Um, but working with Danny has been, been such a magnificent experience. He's such a talented, intensive uh, man and funny as well. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. When they yell cut, what, what's said between the two actors? Because when you have to engage like that, there has to be some small banter. When uh, they yell cut, I would just hang on to Gal like a sort of boxer in the, <laughs> the end of the 10th round. <laughs> Godzilla! Yeah. Zilla bitch.